Fury, wie wär's mit einem kleinen Ausritt? Hast du Lust? Stampeding like that just for a drink of water. No, it must be some kind of animal that's upsetting him, Pete. I don't see any more tracks. Thing. Well, let's move on ahead. Kind of a critter you figure this is, Jim. Can't be a cougar, otherwise we'd hear him screaming and spitting. No, it's not a bear either. You know, I think maybe the other ranchers are right. Wolves? Mm -hmm. Why, they ain't been one of them varmints in this valley for nigh out of ten years. Well, the snows have been pretty heavy up north, Pete. Hunger might have driven him down here. Eh, maybe some of them ghost wolves I used to hear about. We've been losing horses awful fast and never see any sign of what got them. We're not the only ones. The rocking R lost ten head yesterday. Charlie Stevens lost six. Well, one thing's certain. A well-organized wolf pack could run a lot of us out of business. Hmm. Hit up. See if we can pick up yeah. his track. The horses are stampeding again.
I didn't know better, I'd say the earth had just opened up and swallowed him. Well, you almost got him. You only missed him by a few inches. Almost isn't good enough, Joey. It's going to be harder tracking that devil down than I thought, Pete. Ah, I don't see why, Jim. He may be a little bigger than any wolf I ever seen. Maybe faster. Uh-huh, and smarter, too. I got a good look at him through my gun sights. He's part wolf and part renegade dog. Part dog? Uh-huh. No wonder he's running without the pack. Maybe I better stand by and guard the herd. No, that won't be necessary. He won't be back today after being shot at. Well, let's go after him right now. No, it'll be dark soon, Joey. We'll never pick up his trail. We'll come out again in the morning. And when we come back, his skin better be hanging from my saddle. Cold, Jim. Them wolves probably killed his mother. He looks in pretty bad shape himself. Maybe his mother just got scared. She might come back. Well, let's hope so, Joey. Just in case she doesn't, can we take him to the ranch with us? I could take care of him, and Fury could help me. Well, he's awfully young, Joey. I don't know that you can take care of him. Well, that's just it. He's so little. He wouldn't have a chance out here. I don't know. I've seen this happen before, Joey. Sometimes a colt like this will just refuse to eat. Well, at least we could try. I know if I were alone, I'd sure like someone to take care of me. Well, all right. But if it doesn't work out, we'll have to let him go. Thanks, Jim. Fury, you gotta help me take him home. <laughs> Come on, why do you gotta drink it? It's good for you and it'll give you strength. Just try some. It's real fresh milk. Looks like he don't care for your hospitality. He just doesn't understand. I tried to get him to taste it, but he won't. Well, the way I figured, that young and is too scared to eat. Here. Maybe that'll help. A baby bottle! Why didn't I think of that? Come on, Whitey. Try some of this. Oh, come on. Try some. Eh, leave him be for a while. Maybe you'll settle down. Okay, be stubborn. But I'm gonna wait right here till you ask me for some. Come on, Whitey, drink some. Well, that's right, Charlie. He's part wild dog. Well, then we can count on you and your boys to cover the Indian Mountain area? Fine, fine, that's good. Now, the Rocking R will cover Smoke Canyon to the east, and Pete and I are taking the area between the pass and the river. All right, Charlie. Goodbye. Well, by morning, every rancher will be out on patrol. That's the way to do it, Jim. And this time, I don't think that wolf dog will give us the slip. Well, I hope not. The way he spotted us last time makes me think he's got built-in radar. Yeah. Is Joey still in the barn? Yeah, with that poor coat. This is awful good milk, Whitey. Why won't you drink it? No luck, huh? No. If he stays here without eating, he won't last more than a couple of days. I think he'd be much better off out on the range, Joey. But he's so helpless. He'd be the first one the wolves would go after. Maybe, maybe not. But keeping him here to starve don't seem like much of an answer, neither. Yeah, Pete's right, Joey. You see, Whitey's pining for his mother. There's a pretty good chance that he'd find her out there. But what if his mother's not alive? Well, uh, we don't know whether she is or isn't. But there's more than one nurse in Mary in the herd. Maybe one of them might adopt Whitey. But what chance would he have if that doesn't happen? Look, uh, Joey, Pete and I are going out to look for that wolf again in the morning. Now, if Whitey hasn't broken his fast by the time we get back, I, uh, I'm afraid we'll just have to turn him loose. Come on, Whitey. 
Marty. Take him off, Bill, please. You don't know what'll happen to you if you don't. Please, Whitey. I don't know what to do with a fury. I've tried everything. Then when Jim comes home, he's gonna let Whitey loose on the range if he doesn't eat. <laughs> Come on, Whitey. You must be starved. Hasn't eaten anything, huh? Not a thing. But don't take it so much to heart, Joey. I know you're doing your best. But he's so helpless, Jim. Just like a little baby. I know. Now look, you go on in and get some breakfast. Just because Whitey won't eat is no reason for you to starve. Okay. <laughs> Golly, why didn't I think of that before? I think of what? Maybe if we put Whitey and Fury together, it would help. Look, Joey, uh, Fury may be the smartest horse in the world, but he is a stallion. And if Whitey should do something that Fury doesn't like, he might kick him. Fury'd never do anything like that. <laughs> well, probably not, but why take a chance? Now you better put Fury in his corral away from Whitey. All right, Jim. Come on, let's see if we can pick up the trail where we lost that wolf yesterday. Put you back in the crowd. Well, they look peaceful enough. Uh, they wouldn't be if there were any wolves around. It's a mighty big country, Jim. They could be holing up almost anywhere. Well, let's circle over toward the pass. Keep your eyes peeled. That wolf won't give us another chance to get him.
came from over there. Kind of hard to say the way that echo kept bouncing. Let's move ahead slowly. Better, I'd say you were jealous. <laughs> now, come on, take me to Whitey. Now, don't let me have to ask you a second time. Where's Whitey? <laughs> Beats me the way them tracks disappeared. Last one we seen was half a mile back. Pete, you realize we've been getting farther and farther away from our herd? That's right. And if we keep heading this way, we'll be doing just what that wolf wants us to do. You mean that critter's been misleading us on purpose? Can't be any other reason. With us out of the way, our horses are easy pickings for his pack. Well, then what are we doing here? Let's head back to the herd. Right. Hey. You mean you left him here? like that wolf dog's calling his pack together. Over that way. almost anywhere. And he's smart enough to realize that right now our herd's unprotected. Yeah. Hey. Ah. I'd sure like to know what all that shooting was about. Like Joey's 22. Gary! Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, you got him! <laughs> He won't bother us anymore, Fury. Gosh, he sure is big. You know, if it wasn't for you, he might have got me. Jim! Jim, look! He tried to sneak up on us, but Fury got him. Well, I'm glad of that, Joey. But you had no business being away from the ranch. Now you take Fury and go on home. Hey, Fury! What's got into that horse? I don't know, Jim. But it's on account of him that I left the ranch. He chased Whitey out here. He wouldn't do that unless he had a reason. Come on. your answer, Joey. Golly! Gee, Fury, I apologize. I didn't know you were looking for Whitey's mother. <laughs> you know, sometimes I think Fury knows more about running the ranch than I do. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, that's great. Can Fury and I ride up and see how Whitey and his mother are? I don't think you'll have to. I guess you brought the little fellow back to say thanks, Fury. 